Hi, this is Ruthis Khan with you. Uh, today in this video, I will show you that how an XPIC link is planned because generally when we plan a link, uh, we plan a normal link or maybe we, we cannot say it's a normal link because we did not specify that what kind of link we are planning. So generally we are not uh, talking about the configuration uh, of the link. So we are assuming that we are planning, we can plan any kind of link uh, with the help of uh, the videos that I have made. Uh, you can plan any kind of link in uh, path loss 5 and path loss 4. These videos, they can be helpful in both type of uh, both path loss versions. So, but today this is a specific uh, video on the request of a friend that uh, he needs to know that how an XPIC link is planned, what is the difference. So, in a general way, there is no big difference. You plan an XPIC link in almost the same way as you plan uh, another link. You have to do whatever you have to do. I mean, you have to do everything you have to do. Uh, the path profile and then if you were feel that there is something of a multi-path or diffraction or whatever you have to take care of all the required things there is no big difference between a normal link and a expect link uh, the difference comes uh, in two things one is that an expect link uh, should must have an XPIC antenna because if the link don't have an XPIC antenna then uh, you will not have uh, you cannot get the most of uh, this cross polarization uh, because a lot of discrimination is being done uh, within the antenna as well but uh, if you are if you want to send two channels on two different antennas, I mean horizontal on horizontal antenna and vertical on vertical antenna. Then also you need to have uh, the radio uh, which supports uh, the XPIC function. So for example, here I'm using a single antenna for XPIC. You can use two antenna, horizontal, vertical differently. Uh, here in the channels you can see that I have put two channels uh, same channel on uh, vertical and same channel on horizontal so when you are putting a link on XPIC uh, this is also you need to do because this will help in uh, the calculation of interference uh, the frequency interference should be calculated based on uh, these values so because one link can support only one channel so I'm just using one channel but the same channel I'm using on both the polarizations vertical and horizontal so this is you can say that one of the differences uh, that you made you make to have a vertical and horizontal channel and uh, then the things come is your uh, radio. Now from the naming convention or other things, I'm not very much aware of all the vendors and their naming conventions. But generally if you have a CC or CDP or XPIC or something like that in the radio file name, then it means that it supports uh, XPIC because CC is for co-channel. So XPIC is also basically, it comes under co-channel uh, as per, at least as per path loss because you are using the same channel. Uh, so path loss takes the co-channel and the XPIC in the uh, same kind of module so they uh, treat both of them uh, you can say in the same module if you have if you want to use a bigger channel you want to use uh, 
code channel then you can use that code channel also in the same module and if you want to use xpic you can use xpic also in the same module but one question is that how you can verify if the file that you have is the right file because for example someone gives you a file and then he says that this file can take uh, xpic so you just open the file uh, so this is the file which is being used these are all the parameters within the file this is like the file name the frequency your data rate radio capacities 2 stm1 approx modulation 128 bandwidth is 27 so everything is there uh, just to let you know that this file is not an exact file from a vendor this file i have modified uh, for this so you need to have the exact file one thing that you need is is the noise floor uh, i will not go in the detail but and this don't go for this value you should have a value from your vendor the vendor should supply the file and he should supply the value and other thing is here uh, this use code channel if it is written here that do not use code channel then this means that this file will not allow a code channel operation path loss will not pick the code channel values from this file because these two values xpif and xpdxpi these are the two values which are required so uh, i hope you understand my point that if you want to plan an xpic link it's planned almost in the same way that any link is planned but the difference is only that the equipment file and the radio equipment file should support xpic and i have showed you that how it supports you should have written this use code channel here if it is written use code channel then it means that this file supports also this will have a noise floor value as well if it supports uh, xpic but if it don't support xpic this will not have uh, this will have do not use and here you will not find any uh, noise floor value and in the same way if you are using a single antenna then this antenna should be dual polarized it will have one vertical and one horizontal both in the same antenna so once you have both of these things and you have provided everything else for example the rain region or whatever and you have these numbers here then simply go to operations and then go to code general operations when you will go to code and operations saying here code and operations is on i should first make it off just to show you that what it does so initially for example if we if for example it was off so what you see here that you have an antenna xpd you can change this value you have a xpif this value comes from the equipment file but you can change it here xpic device xpd this also comes from the uh, equipment file you can change it here as well you can increase this value to maybe 45 i'm just giving you random numbers i mean don't so now when you will make it on it will calculate all the remaining things based on these two values based on these two values it will uh, calculate the expect fade margin and this will ex calculate the expect fade margin in rain and this threshold degradation and uh, everything else should come so one more thing is that once you turn it off if you see here we have a thermal fit margin of 22.01 and this link has availability of 99.998
So when we turn it on, we get one more fade margin, which is 20.11. This fade margin is lowered because of these values. And this from 99.998 has gone to 99.997. So in case of if you are using, if you are planning XPIC, then you need to turn it on and based on turning it on, all of your value here will be changed and you will have some threshold degradation values uh, from here. And you can, uh, it's better that after doing this, you check your uh, links, your network's interference as well, because uh, maybe because of this degradation in the threshold of, uh, because of XPD, you may get some, uh, maybe some candidates for uh, interference as well. So I hope this uh, um, brief video was uh, fruitful for you. Uh, please uh, note that don't uh, take exact values from this video. Uh, this is just an example. I had modified a normal uh, equipment file uh, to an XPIC file because I did not have the file and I asked some of my friends, uh, but I was not able to get the file on time. So. I thought that whoever is asking me, at least I should make a video for him and I should send the video so that uh, he can uh, find it useful. So um, again, just to uh, summarize that if you want to convert a link into XP, there is no big difference. You have to plan a link like you plan all of your normal links. You have to take care of everything while planning. The only difference should come that your antenna should be dual polarized. If you are using a single antenna for both polarizations, if you are using two antennas, then you can put two antennas and then you can put both of them on different polarization and your equipment file should be co-channel enabled file. It should allow you for co-channel operation. And once these two things are uh, complete, then all you should do is to go in operations and then go on co-channel operation and just turn it on. Once you turn it on, it will load everything and it will change your uh, numbers and then you are good to go your uh, expect link is now ready so i hope this uh, uh, video was beneficial for you uh, so keep watching my videos uh, keep learning uh, stay home stay safe if you don't find anything uh, which answer your uh, questions fully then you can always uh, write back to me, comment on my videos. If you need any technical information that why this thing is like that and why not like that, still in that you can uh, still you can uh, comment on my video and I will reply. See you in some other video. Okay, see you. Bye.